Well, Colin, you'll play four games over 12 days over Christmas. In terms of sort of intensity of, of schedule, is this the toughest stretch of the season? Yeah, it's, prob it's probably up there, I suppose. Um, you know, we always go through stages with, um, you know, a lot of games in a short space of time, but probably over this kind of period now, it probably cranks it up even more. Um, so the lads, uh, you know, have to be ready for it, get, you know, taper down training maybe a little bit on certain days to accommodate the games. Um, but it's an exciting period as well because if you get some results, you can, you can really fly up that table even more so. So um, it's an important time for us, definitely. And, and it's an exciting time and a busy time for everyone off the pitches as well. You're a veteran, of course, so I, I guess you've learned how to handle the demands of the season by now? Yeah, yeah, well used to it by now. Um, you know, it's a busy time for, for players and, and families and all the rest of it. You, you try and find a bit of a balance where you, you're getting some family time, which is really important. And then, um, obviously, a huge amount of time in and around the training ground and with the lads. Um, you know, over the period, if you get some good results, that makes the period a lot more enjoyable. That's just the obvious thing. Um, and hopefully, that can be the case against a Lincoln coming up, really. Um, and, and get the, the Christmas period off to a good start. And I guess they're all used to it as well, but the family are, are all very understanding about your availability or maybe lack yeah, of? Yeah, yeah, lack of. Um, no, it's, um, it's, it's part and parcel of the job now, you know. Um, kids obviously are all excited and, uh, you know, you want to spend some time with them and we will get that time for sure. But, um, you know, there's a, a, lot to, a lot of business to take, to take care of as well and um, we need to be ready for that. And, um, the more points, obviously, over Christmas we can take, the, the more we can kind of put pressure on people around us heading into January as well and um, into the second half of the season. You're a couple of games short of, of the halfway mark. I think the Oxford game will, will see you reach it. Um, so what's the, the captain's assessment of the first half of the season? Um, I, think, I think we've done OK. I think, um, I think we started off slowly, for sure. Um, couldn't find our rhythm. It was very inconsistent. Um, kind of... We'd, we'd win an important game and maybe then get a draw or a loss straight after it when we couldn't find that kind of rhythm, that back-to-back to, back to really gain momentum and put pressure on people above us. I think we found that a little bit more over the last month. Um, you know, the obvious thing is that when you get good results, obviously, you know, it becomes easier and you gain that momentum. And I think we've done that over the last month or so. Definitely disappointing the other night not to hold on, even though it was a poor game, I felt. I thought we were at our... Not 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 at our, not our best, let's say, over the last kind of six seven games, um, but we still should have won us the way the game went. Um, but ultimately, you know, we got a point and we we got to move on from that. So um, I think we're finding our feet a little bit now. Performances are coming better. We're becoming um, stronger. I feel as as a as a team as well and as as a group. Um, strangely enough, we're probably at our strongest when we've had loads of injuries out. You know, so which is a strange kind of thing. Um, but I think we're, we're in a good place and, and hopefully, like you, you said, the turn of the year over the Oxford game is halfway. We can really, really move into the second half of the season in a good place because I feel like we're getting there. And you've got, you know, Oxford and, and Peterborough, two of the games coming up. You, you'll be playing teams near above you in the table and that will be a chance for it to, to maybe make some progress. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge chance. Um, like you said, our... our our Christmas period's tough, no, no doubt about it. Wigan as well chucked in there, who are good sides. Obviously, we'll be in a better position only for the points, um, deduction and all the rest of it. So we've got a tough Christmas period, but we need to look at it as in what a chance to kind of, you know, gain, gain momentum, gain confidence, gain belief that we can get some re results against some really good sides. Um, and hopefully, uh, you know, that can be the case, really. You mentioned the injured players. I just wanted to ask from, you know, your role as, as captain, what you do to stay in touch with them and keep them involved because there have been a few injuries this year. Yeah, yeah, there's been there's been a lot. It's been um it's been a tough time for, for a lot of lads. Um you know it's it's not easy when um you know there's long term injuries and even lads getting niggles and then coming back and getting and maybe a, a niggle again. I think it's important for me just to, you know, speak to them, text them, see if they're okay, always checking how you know how they are, how their scans have gone. Um you know, just just making them feel part of it. Just from my from my point of view, other lads are a bit different. But I think from a, a captain's point of view, you need to make sure that they're all okay. You know, dropping them texts on, on maybe a random day that they don't expect to get a text. Um, you know, speaking to them in the training ground if you catch them at the coffee machine or or going to see them in the in the physio room and, and just seeing how they are. You know, so I think it's important that they they still feel part of it. Um, you know, I think that's that's really important for my type of role. We don't see many Thursday night games. Are you pleased that it's been brought forward just to have that little bit of extra time? Yeah, uh, the, the 
Yeah, it can be, I suppose. Um, I suppose if you get a good result, it's, it's even better because you know, it puts pressure on other people um, and you can get your game out of the way earlier. Um, you know, it's our last uh, game now before, obviously, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and the lads are desperate for results so they can enjoy a couple of days um, heading into the Boxing Day game. So, um, yeah, look, it's, um, it's nice that it's been brought forward, but hopefully we can, it's been brought forward and we can play it into our, our advantage, really.